I said, now the, now the first part is uh, uh, do the, I mean, we'll do these uh, questions. Uh, state one national and one man made source of NO2. So, uh, I mean, this is all levels. So, if you know this, uh, national is going to be lightning strikes, air heats up. TK, this has got nothing to do with KP. Uh, the air has nitrogen and oxygen, they burn up and this, they produce NO2. And man-made is uh, car engines. Again, it's the same thing. In car engines, uh, there's a lot of combustion that's happening and the air heats up. Uh, there's a lot of nitrogen and oxygen in the air and they react together to form NO2, but that has a very high actuation energy. So you need high temperatures, which you either obtain in car engines or in lightning strikes. Uh, state right in equation to show how NO2 leads to the formation of nitric acid. Uh, simple, that NO2 mixes with water and turns and produces two acids actually. Uh, it produces nitric acid as well as nitrous acid. Uh, how is sulfuric acid formed? I'll just, I'll just leave this part. I'll just move to KP questions. So this KP question is saying, uh, write the expression for KP for this one. So it's going to be the pressure of the product, which is N2O4. And there's only one mole, so that's just one mole and divided by the pressure of the reactants, which is NO2, and that's going to be squared. So products pressure divided by the reactant pressure. The coefficient becomes the power, so it's going to be NO2 squared. Now the question is, let me just open a board as well, just one second. Now, now the question is that. Let's just use this. I said, now the question is, uh, let me write down the equation first. So it's it's 2NO2 and it's in equilibrium with N2O4. That's, that's what is happening in equilibrium with N2O4. And uh, you're gonna do the whole initial moles and the final moles thing. So initial, uh, what's present at equilibrium, I think they did give us in the question. So I'm going to use those. Uh, so if I go back to the question, initially there's two moles of dinitrogen tetroxide, which I think is this one. Tetroxide is four oxygen. So initially two moles. So that's it. It only had this thing. So go back. Initially there was two moles of dinitrogen tetroxide and there was no NO2 initially, zero moles. You didn't have... You didn't have, so two moles of this, he didn't add any NO2 into the container. That's your initial situation. Uh, what's your equilibrium situation? He says after equilibrium had been established, the total pressure was 140 kilopascals and the mixture of gases contained 1.84 moles of dinitrogen tetroxide. So, so once equilibrium was reached, uh, the container had one point. So it had 1.84 moles of dinitrogen tetroxide. So what happened here? That you had uh, two moles, now you have 1.84 moles. So that, that means the amount decreased. That means, and by what amount? By 0 0.16 moles. That means 0.16 moles must have reacted. They must have reacted and they must have formed this other thing. Come again. Okay, okay, you went you went down. It's actually you started with two moles. Now you have one point eight four moles. That means 0.16 moles must have reacted. Is this clear? Mahad, is this clear? Sidra, Amna, is this clear? Okay, so so the amount decreased, and it's one ratio two. So if 0.16 reacted on the other side, double the amount would be produced. So that means 0 0.32 moles must have been, they must have been produced. So you have, there's, you had zero moles, now there's an extra 0 0.32 moles. So equilibrium moles would be 0 0.32. So anyways, you found, you found your equilibrium moles now for both of them. And uh, he's asking you to calculate, that's the first part, he's asking you to calculate, uh, Calculate the number of moles of NO2 present at equilibrium. We did that. Calculate the number of moles of gas present at equilibrium, hence the mole fraction of each gas. So, 
so basically, basically at the end of the day, he's going to ask you to find out the partial pressure, and then he's going to ask you to calculate the KP value. So we're going to do all of that. Now he told us that the container, uh, the container that we have, it's got it's got all these gases now. Okay, it's got one point eight four moles of N two O four, and it's got uh, at the same time it's got uh, one second. So it's got point three two moles of uh, this gas NO two. The combined pressure that they're they're exerting is one hundred forty kilopascals. He gave us he gave that value in the question that the combined pressure of all these gases at equilibrium is the affine one point eight four moles was given in the question like over here. उसने खुद ही कहा था कि यहाँ पे कहा हुआ था कि he said that two moles initially were, and when the container was opened, it had one point eight four moles. Clear, Afi? Or is it point one six less? Okay, that means that zero point one six must have reacted and must have gone to the other side. So there, point one six one ratio two, so there will be double produced. Zero point three two. उधर शुरू में थे ही नहीं जीरो मोल्स थे नाउ जीरो पॉइंट सी टू आर गेटिंग प्रोड्यूस तो जीरो पॉइंट सी टू होंगे अच्छा खैर इसका कंबाइंड जो प्रेशर है दैट्स वन फोर्टी किलो पास्कल्स वो भी उसने दिया हुआ है ठीक है गेव दैट इन द क्वेश्चन एज वेल कि द टोटल प्रेशर एट इक्विबियम वाज वन किलो पास्कल्स इसका मतलब ये सारी गैसेज मिला के जो इक्विबियम पे गैसेज है ना इसके पॉइंट सी टू और इसके पॉइंट वन मोल्स द कम्बाइंड प्रेशर इज वन पॉइंट वन किलो पास्कल्स So how do you figure out the individual pressures? So what's the pressure you do? N two O four, N O two को N O two से start कर लेते हैं. So what we learnt last time was that you use mole fraction into the total pressure. And mole fraction किस तरह निकालते थे? It was that N O two के moles कितने? Zero point C two. यानी इन सारों में Total moles are zero point three two plus one point eight four. Jin me N O two ke moles zero point three two hai. Yani all these gases combined are exerting a pressure of one forty kilopascals. So N O two is just point three two. So point three two divided by the total, the Wolski percentage nikalaegi in the container, and this would be one multiplied by one forty kilopascals. Similarly, you can figure out the partial pressure of N two O four. Because because we just said, what is the pressure uh, of the container? So it's going to be mole fraction. So N two O four moles are zero one point eight four. One point eight four divided by the total moles, which are zero point three two, plus one point eight four into one forty kilopascals. Can you tell me in both of the value? Tell me what's the value for both. क्या आ रही है डिड इवन कैलकुलेट As a twenty point seven four for P N O two, so twenty point. This one is twenty point seven four. And what is the other one? Zero point eight five one. Is is key is key N two O four? Is that one forty three two? Hundred nineteen point three, are you? Hundred nineteen point three, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna get hundred nineteen point three for this. Uh, I mean, do the calculation again. Be careful with the with your calculators. It's uh, uh, make sure you put brackets in your calculator when you're doing this calculation. Okay, so you've got you've got uh, both pressures now. The pressure that's and remember the two pressures must add up to be equal to the total pressure. Which I mean, that's one way to check the value. Okay, you're getting the right value or not. Uh, 
so this is the partial pressure. I mean, this gas is exerting 119.3, sorry, this one, in 204. And this other gas is exerting a pressure of 20.74. And then he asks you to calculate the value of Kp. So we have the expression for Kp, which is, uh, I mean, the equation was given. So you can have a look at the equation. It's partial pressure of N204, which is your product, divided by the partial pressure of, uh, of NO2, and that's going to be squared. And that's going to be squared. So it's going to be 119.3 and divide by 20.74 squared. So what do you get? Zero point two seven seven. So zero point two seven seven. Another and seven. TK point two seven seven, right? Yes. Okay, one thing to make sure use the same significant figures. Like if he's if he's using three significant figures, your answer should be in three significant figures as well. Uh, now. Where's the question? This, this one. So it's going to be, see, I said, what's the unit for KP? Uh, they're going to ask you for the unit for KP. And one thing I'm going to add over here, and that is, okay, when you're when you're dealing with KP and when you're dealing with pressures, TK, where's pressure? I said, when you're dealing with this, remember the pressure can have many different units. And you can use either of them. TK, you don't have to convert units in this case. Pressure could be in atmospheres, it could be in kilopascals, and it could be in, in pascals. Okay, so whatever the question is using, just keep using those. No need to convert kilopascals to pascals. I mean, even if you do, it's not going to be wrong, but there's no need for conversion. TK, just make sure that whatever unit that's given, just keep using those units. That's it. If, if he's talking about kilopascals, uh, if he's talking about kilopascals, just keep using kilopascals. If he was talking about 140 kilopascals, I just continued with 140 kilopascals and that's it. And so my final unit would be, like, how do you calculate the unit? It's going to be uh, the first kilopascals divided by kilopascal squared. So it's going to come out to be kilopascals to the power minus one. So my final answer will have this unit, kilopascals to the power of minus one. Is this clear how I figured out the unit? Are you clear? Yes, sir. So just remember, okay, there is no need for conversion. Just keep using the unit that's already given to you. Just, just keep using that. Asap here, uh, we're done with this question. Let's do another similar question. It's... Uh, Although this one has no calculation, I think. Okay, this one has no calculation. It's just, uh, uh, what's the expression for KP? And remember, you only use gases. I mean, don't include anything that's solid or liquid or aqueous into the expression. The pressure changes only for gases. It's, it's constant for all other things. So your KP expression over here would be the pressure of NO, the product, and that's going to be power four multiplied by the pressure of uh, water, and that's going to be power six, and divided by the pressure of NH3, and that's going to be power four as well, and the pressure of O2, and that's going to be what, power five. And he's asking for the unit unit as well. So he's using kilopascals, so I'm, I'm going to use, I'm going to use kilopascals. So it's kilopascals, uh, the top would become power 10 because it's 4 into 6 and the bottom would become kilopascals to the power 9. And so it's going to get cancelled out and it's just going to be kilopascals to the power 1. That's it. Now, where would the equilibrium shift? This is Lee Shatler principle. What will be the effect on the yield of NO? You're trying to make NO. Uh, increasing the temperature. When you increase temperature, uh, endothermic reaction is favored that's the first thing and the forward in this case is exo 
So the forward is not going to be favored. It's going to be the backward reaction that would be that would be favored, which means the yield would decrease. There's going to be lesser yield. Similarly, if you decrease the applied pressure, when you decrease pressure, more gas moles side is going to be favored. Okay, that's the rule for Lee Shadler principle, more gas mole side. So where do you have more gas mole side? Uh, this side has 10 moles, the other side has nine moles. So it's yeah. going to be the forward side, TK. Okay? So which is going to be your forward reaction, TK, okay, that's going to be favored, which means the yield would increase. So you're going to write a comment on each one of them. Uh, as so a next question, KP, uh, again, it's the Shatter principle. This one is about KP. So I'll just, I'll just post this question first. I say he's, he's just asking for the value of KP in one go. It's just five marks, all of this in one go. No steps, nothing. Just find KP, you get five marks. Remember, for KP, you would have to. You always have to. The reason you, you have more marks for KP is there's a lot of stuff involved in KP. And the reaction that you're dealing with is sulfur dioxide. And let me copy the reaction as well. Uh, maybe it's given over here somewhere or given in the previous part. But I think that's that reaction is missing. Uh, but it's sulfur dioxide with oxygen and it's going to be producing, it's, it's this reaction. I'll, I'll give you the reaction. So we're dealing with the contact process, gas, this is gas, and this one is also gas. So the first part is the same thing: initial moles, final moles. So what are my what are my initial 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 moles? Uh, I've got two moles of oxygen and I've got two moles of sulfur dioxide. Those are my initial moles. So two moles of this, and I've got two moles of oxygen. And I don't think anything else was put into the flask, so this is zero moles. And then my equilibrium, I so said, then my equilibrium moles. Uh, what did he give me at equilibrium? He, at equilibrium, he says that there is uh, 1.8 moles of sulfur trioxide. So, so all of a sudden you had no sulfur trioxide, now you have 1.80 moles of it. So what does that mean? That means 1.8 moles got produced. That means there must have been some forward reaction and 1.8 moles of sulfur trioxide must have gotten produced. Uh, zero moles, but now you've got 1.8 moles. So 1.8 moles probably got produced. Now, according to the ratio, uh, if you want to produce 1.8 moles, Two ratio one, then 0 0.9 moles of this must have reacted. And uh, SO2 is the same ratio, so that means 1.8 moles of this must have reacted. So that means 1.8 moles over here would be gone. So add equilibrium, you'll be left with how much 2 minus 1.8, that's 0 0.20 moles. And 0 0.9 moles of this are gone. So 2 minus 0 0.9 would be 1.1 moles. So is that clear? So both of us, I mean, our moles are lost. Yes, because if we make SO3, then we will react with SO2 and O2. So if we make 1.8, then we will make 2 ratio 2, then we will react with 1.8, then we will react with it. 2 ratio 1 and another 1.8 if we react with it, then we will also react with it. So it will be less than that. If we react with it, then we will also react with it. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we have to know that this is the story of equilibrium. This is what you have at equilibrium. There are so many moles of SO3 that there are 1.1 moles and this is 0.2 moles. And the total pressure that the container is, where did our question go? Ah, yeah. 
टू अब रिमेम्बर इट्स इन पास्कल्स नाउ तो बस कीप इट इन पास्कल्स ठीक है यूनिट चेंज करने की जरूरत नहीं है तो वो कह रहे हैं टोटल प्रेशर दैट्स टू इंटू टेन पर फाइव पास्कल्स यानी ये सारी गैसेस मिल के टू इंटू टेन पर फाइव पास्कल्स प्रेशर एग्जैक्ट कर रही है सो वी हैव टू फिगर आउट के इंडिविजुअल प्रेशर्स क्या है इसकी वजह से क्या प्रेशर है इसकी वजह से प्रेशर क्या होगा इट्स इट्स बी प्रेशर ड्यू टू एसो टू द पार्शल प्रेशर सो प्रेशर ड्यू टू एसो टू वुड बी मोल फ्रैक्शन विच इज जीरो पॉइंट टू डिवाइड बाई द टोटल टोटल मोल्स कितने आ रहे हैं इसमें क्या आता है वन पॉइंट वन थ्री पॉइंट वन इज इट थ्री पॉइंट वन इसकी वजह से प्रेशर क्या होगा दैट्स गोइंग टू बी प्रेशर ड्यू टू ओ टू ये प्लीज कैलकुलेट द वैल्यूज ठीक है वॉट वैल्यूज आर यू कैरिंग दैट्स गोइंग टू बी वन पॉइंट वन मोल्स डिवाइड बाई द टोटल मोल्स विच इज थ्री पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू टाइम्स इन पॉ फाइव एंड द प्रेशर दैट्स ड्यू टू एसओ थ्री दैट्स गोइंग टू बी द पार्शल प्रेशर दैट्स गोइंग टू वन पॉइंट एट डिवाइड बाई थ्री पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू टाइम्स इन पॉ फाइव so what do we get for each one of them so what are we getting so there is this so2 so2 is 20 एक्सर्ट <laughs> 96.742 ठीक है तो ये हो गया और लास्ट वन व्हाट इज दिस रिमेंबर द चेक इज के एवरीथिंग शुड ऐड अप टू बी इक्वल टू 2 into 10 to the power 5 That's the total pressure. One one six one two nine. I said it's one one six one two nine point zero three. So he get Pascal's. I said anyway. So you you figure out you figure out uh, the pressures. Uh, the next thing is just. Add it into the KP expression, and the KP expression would be uh, based on the equation that's written above. TK, this equation is here. It's going to be the pressure of SO two SO three sorry squared, and it's going to be divided by the pressure of uh, SO two, and that's going to be squared as well, multiplied by the pressure that's due to O two. TK, that's so it's it's do everything SO three that's. One one six one two nine. Take be very careful with the calculation because that's where you're going to end up making a lot of mistakes. Uh, SO two that's twelve nine zero three dot three, and that's going to be squared as well. And O two is not going to be squared, so that's seven zero nine six seven dot seven. So remember, there's a lot of you have to be very careful with your calculations. There's a, there's there's almost almost a very high, more than a fifty percent chance that you would end up making some random mistake while just doing the math, and you'll end up with the wrong answer. So what are we getting? One point one four into ten raised to power minus three. So we're getting one point one four into ten raised to power minus three. 
and the unit is Pascal's minus one. I mean, you can you can calculate the unit. It's going to be Pascal squared divided by Pascal squared into Pascal. So if you do this, can, can the the Pascal remains at the bottom. So it's going to be Pascal minus one. I say anyway. So that's that's how you're going to do this. The additional step, which is calculating partial pressures. Now I'm going to add another point over here is, and that is when you're trying to calculate partial pressure, remember the actual moles are not needed. TK, you don't, you don't actually need 0.2 moles or you don't need 0.4 moles. You don't, you, 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 what, you, what information that you need is, you need to know the mole fraction, okay? What percentage of the container has, so remember you don't, you don't need moles. Uh, so let's say I have a container and it's uh, it's this reaction that's going on. It's H2 plus I2 and it's in equilibrium with 2HI. This is the reaction that's going on and the container is already at equilibrium. And at equilibrium, I'm, I've been told that there's 50% of the gas molecules are HI. Okay, so I don't, I don't actually need moles. I just need to know, okay, the container contains what percentage of each one of the each one of the reactants. And it contains 20% uh, H2. And the rest of the 30% gas is I2. And that's at equilibrium. Okay, so so I don't I don't need I don't need moles. Uh, if I the if the percentage percentage is already given to me, I can I can just use percentage for this. Uh, so what's What's the pressure that's, and let's say the entire container is exerting a pressure of uh, of eight atmospheres. So what are the pressures that would be exerted by each of the gases individually? Now, half of the pressure would come from HI because half of the gas molecules are HI, 50% is HI. So, so out of the eight atmosphere, four atmospheres would be exerted by HI. So, I mean, we can calculate this. The partial pressure that would be exerted by HI would be the mole fraction, which would be 50 out of 100 into eight atmospheres. Then the partial pressure that would be exerted by H2, that's going to be 1.6. It's called Peleka? Peleka the four. Four, two, six, one. 20, 1.6. I said, so out of 100, 20% is, uh, is H2. And into eight atmosphere, that's going to be 1.6. Yes, sir. Or the other 2.4. pressure due to I2 would be, assuming all of them are gases. I'm assuming all of them are gases, TK. Any conditions I see. So it's going to be 30 divided by 100. And multiplied by eight atmosphere so it comes out to be 2.4 mm -hmm. so you're getting 2.4 atmospheres for this so you're getting 2.4 atmospheres for this particular one okay wait a second just as a TK. So you're getting 2.4 atmospheres. So remember, okay, uh, the actual moles are not important. All you need is, okay, what is the situation at, of the container at equilibrium? So you can you can do it without the moles if the percentage is given. A percentage is like a is like a mole fraction. And you can just input the values. Okay, the KP expression would be what? KP would be HS squared. So it's going to be four atmospheres and that's going to be squared. Uh, divide that by... <laughs> 1.6 multiplied by Haji. Sir, if we examiner, let's suppose we random ratios, we can solve it too. What does it mean by random ratios? What does it mean by random ratios? What does it mean by random ratios? What is the container or the equilibrium? Yes, if we give the equation, we can give the ratios. Without balance. No, the first thing is that the equation will be balanced. It doesn't have to be an unbalanced equation. Yes, sir. But I mean, the percentage of the ratio is such like that. Yes, I mean, it can be given in the ratio. It says that if you have 5 ratios, the ratio is 5 ratios, 2 ratios, 3 ratios. So, it's also 
फैक्शनल परसेंटेज तो निकाल सकते थे ना कि कितनी परसेंटेज कंटेनर की मतलब वो रेशो दे सकते हैं मतलब ये रेशो ही है ना एक तरह से परसेंटेज के बना क्लियर है यस सर अच्छा चलो एक ये परसेंटेज वाला क्वेश्चन कर लेते हैं देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू परसेंटेज सो रिमेंबर के यू डोंट नीड द एक्चुअल मोल्स फॉर एग्जांपल ओवर हियर ये वाला क्वेश्चन लेट्स ट्राई एंड डू दिस क्वेश्चन स्पेस नियर इधर मैं कॉपी कर लेता हूं अच्छा लेट्स try and do this question ke okay, i've got i've got this question so is question mein he didn't give us any moles he just told us ke okay, there is a n2o4 which is in equilibrium with 2no2 and he says कि जो डायनाइट्रेट डेट्रोक्साइड है ना एट वन एटमोस्फेयर प्रेशर फिफ्टी परसेंट इट गेट्स डिसोसिएटेड सो वट इज दैट मीन इट मीन्स के जस्ट टोल्ड मी कि फिफ्टी परसेंट इट गेट्स डिसोसिएटेड सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ लिसन टू दिस केयरफुली इनिशियल इनिशियल लेट्स लेट्स आर इनिशियल मोल्स नाउ आई हैव नो आइडिया वट द इनिशियल मोल्स आर द ओनली थिंग आई नो ऑफ इज अच्छा द ओनली थिंग आई नो ऑफ इज कि फिफ्टी परसेंट डिसोसिएट हो जाती है so i'm just going to take some assume some moles let's say i take 100 moles or is there 0 moles are 50% have dissociated yani 50% have turned into no2 so 100 ka 50% kya hoga 100 ka 50% would be 50 so that means 50 react or dissociate right that is what the question means ke 50% associated so he didn't give us any initial moles to maine khud se koi random moles assume kar le uh, and uh, he told me ke 50% of them dissociate so 50% jo na wo aage react karke agar 50% react karte to aage ja ke 100 moles produce honge because it's one ratio to right so either 50 kam ho gaye because they've reacted so at equilibrium you're going to have how many moles you're going to have 50 moles left and on the other side 100 moles extra produce ho gaye so at equilibrium you're going to have kyunki shuru mein to the hi nahi ab now you're going to have 100 moles so that is going to be your equilibrium so ke shuru mein 100 the to phir baad mein 100 kaise ho gaye wo ratio ki wajah se ho gaye ha kyunki wo toot raha hai na wo do mein toot raha hai na जैसा अगर एक पेंसिल है उसको आप तोड़ दो दो पीसेस में तो एक पेंसिल से आपने कितनी चीजें बना ली है दो बना ली है ना तो मोल्स तो पार्टिकल ज्यादा हो सकते हैं ना अगर आप उसको पीसेस में तोड़ दो ठीक है तो तो द थिंग इज वो एन टू ओफ मोलिकुल इज ब्रेकिंग डाउन इन टू पीसेस टू एनओ टू सो सो दो द थिंग इज ही डेंट गिव मी एनी मोल्स द ओनली थिंग ही टोल्ड मी वॉज के फिफ्टी परसेंट एन टू ओफ जो डाला ना कंटेनर में फिफ्टी परसेंट रियक्ट कर गया तो इनिशियल मोल्स मैंने खुद से ज्यूम कर लेट्स से आई टुक 100 मोल्स तो आउट ऑफ दैट 50 वुड रिएक्ट 50 आर गोइंग टू रिएक्ट 50% डिसोसिएशन इट्स वन रेशियो टू सो अगर यहां पे 50 रिएक्ट करते हैं ऑन द अदर साइड 100 आर गोइंग टू गेट प्रोड्यूस्ड तो वहां पे 100 मोल्स आर गोइंग टू गेट प्रोड्यूस्ड तो शुरू में थे ही नहीं नाउ 100 आर गेटिंग प्रोड्यूस्ड सो यू यू आर लेफ्ट विद 100 मोल्स एट द एंड इधर 100 से शुरू में 50% हैव रिएक्टेड सो दैट मींस यू आर लेफ्ट विद 50 ठीक है I said this initial number could be could be any number. It could be. Just I mean, I have a hundred use here. I could have taken this. I could assume assume some other value. Okay, let's say I. So I do a more sad parallel. I am. I am solving this by assuming some other random value. Okay, initial. My jo moles are na. Let's say it is fifty. Okay. और इसके जीरो हैं तो फिफ्टी में से फिफ्टी परसेंट डिसोसिएट हो गए तो कितने रिएक्ट हो गए ट्वेंटी फाइव तो ट्वेंटी फाइव आर गॉन और ट्वेंटी फाइव अगर रिएक्ट करते हैं ऑन द अदर साइड देर वुड बी फिफ्टी दैट वुड बी प्रोड्यूस्ड तो वहां पे फिफ्टी ज्यादा हो जाएंगे सो एक रिबिम के ऊपर आई हाव फिफ्टी मोल्स ऑफ दिस एंड आई हाव ट्वेंटी फाइव मोल्स ऑफ दिस तो First thing is the idea clear? That that when you're dealing with mole fraction, you can assume any number of moles. The mole fraction would, at the end of the day, come out to be the same. 
کہ ابھی ادھر مول فریکشن کیا بن رہی ہے ٹوٹل مولس ہنڈریڈ ففٹی جن میں سے ففٹی اس کے he told he gave us the total pressure which is one atmosphere so how do you how do you figure out the partial pressure the partial pressure would be for n2o4 would be ke n n2o4 ke moles jo hai wo to 50 hai lekin total moles are 150 into one atmosphere right and this value comes out to be 1 by 3 agar main idhar calculate karu to partial pressure due to n2o4 is going to be what فرق نہیں پڑتا آپ کو پرسنیج پتا ہونی چاہیے باقی ٹھیک ہے So this comes out to be equal to 2 by 3 atmospheres, right? So it comes out to be equal to 2 by 3 atmospheres. Uh, what's the KP expression for this, for this particular reaction? The KP expression is product, which is partial pressure of NO2, and that's going to be squared. And you're going to divide that by the, by the partial pressure of... I say you're going to divide that by the partial... Uh, so you're going to divide that by the partial pressure of uh, what? It's uh, partial pressure of N2O4. TK, which is over here, it's N2O4. So it's going to be NO2 is 2 by 3. That's going to be 2 by 3 squared. And the bottom is 1 by 3. What do you get? I think it's going to be 4 by 3. Because one of the 3s is going to get cancelled out. TK, so I think it's It's going to be 4 by 3. And uh, so that is going to be my KP value. Is this clear for this one? So in the question, it's going to be 4 by... It's going to be 4 by 3 atmospheres. I said the next question, it's again uh, about percentage. He's, he's dealing it in percentage, so... So the next one, we'll, we'll do this. I'll do this over there, TK. There's no space here. So I'll just do it over here. So again, this reaction. Remember, you're dealing with percentages. So two water molecules reacting in equilibrium, and they're forming uh, 2H2. plus O2. So again, the question is that at one atmosphere, that's the total pressure, it is found that 20% of the steam had been converted. So 20% of the steam is dissociating. 20% of it. So what are my initial moles? I don't know what my initial moles are. So he didn't give me any moles. So I'm just going to assume, uh, let's say I have 100 moles initially. as you many value the fractional percentage is going to come out to be the same so 20 percent dissociates so that means 20 of these they react so on the other side they're going to produce uh, 20 because it's the same ratio and this is going to be 10 according to the ratio 
uh, that 20 of these, to ratio 2, 20 of these would be produced and 10 of these would be produced. So initially there was no, no moles. But now at equilibrium, 20 moles have reacted, so 20 are gone. And on the other side, 20 are getting produced and 10 of these are getting produced. So your equilibrium moles are going to, you're going to end up with these many moles. It's going to be 80 for this. You're going to have uh, 20 for this and 10 of these. So those are your equilibrium moles for, for your reactants and your products. Is this clear? Yes. Yeah, initial the steam has been converted. In hundred say, but out of the hundred, only twenty are actually taking part in the reaction. So twenty ne react kiya na, because only twenty percent of the steam has been converted. So baki eighty to wahi ki wahi baithi hai. So equilibrium pe you still have eighty moles. So only twenty have reacted. So on the other side, twenty are getting produced. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, make sure you measure the partial pressures for each. One of them. TK, you measure the partial pressure for for each one. The partial pressure would be K uh, mole fraction, 10 out of 110 into one atmosphere. Uh, this would be K, it's 20 moles out of the total moles, which is 110 into one atmosphere. And this one over here, the pressure that that's due to uh, what steam, that would be 80 out of the 110 into one atmosphere pressure, TK. So, so these are your partial pressures. So the question was asking you to calculate the partial pressures for each one. So 80 over 110 is the same as 0.8 divided by 1.1. So, I mean, where's the question? So 80 over 110 is the same as 0.8 divided by divided by 1.1 so so it's going to be i think it's going to be d 0 0.2 divided by 1.1 and 0 0.1 divided by 1.1 so we are getting the same thing except we wrote 10 divided by 110 it's going to be you can convert that into 0 0.1 divided by 1.1 uh i mean it's going to be the same fraction tk uh because every time the initial moles that would be assumed would be different somebody else would assume something different so the fraction that you're going to get is going to be different, but the value would be the same. Is this clear? So where did you get 110? Uh, what are the total moles at equilibrium? Oh, okay. So that's right. like 80 moles of steam are left behind. So the, because only 20 reacted. So, so that's 20 moles of this are produced and 10 moles of this. So that's a total of 110. So, so it's, yes. Sir, uh, H2 ke jo mold, uh, molds equilibrium par hain, aur, uh, oxygen ke wo kaise produce hain? Wo to H2O ka pata chal ga, lekin baaki jo inka nahi pata chal nee, how many moles are reacting? If I assume ke 100, so 20 are dissociating, right? 20%. So 20 are reacting, right? You clear hai? Yeah, sir. So if, it's 2 ratio 2. So if 20 react on the other side, how many are going to be produced? 20 of this and 10 of this. But the, Two molecules react, so what happens? Two H2 are produced and one. Yeah. So 20 produce here or 10 here produce. Is this clear? Okay, Rish, uh, Rish, it's okay. Okay. So, okay, let's uh, continue next time. Okay, we're pretty much done with this chapter basically. Okay, so next time, continue. Karte, kal karte. So, okay, everyone. Well, office.